Okay, it seems to me like I promised you that I'd give you a more difficult um, Gaussian elimination problem. Just show you how that all works and all that other good stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. So I'm going to be given a system of equations. Okay, um, and the system of equations looks li something like, um, what, what did I write down? 2x minus y plus z is equal to 7, and 3x plus y plus 2z is equal to 6. Um, then I have minus x minus y plus 3z is equal to 3. And let's go ahead and make these in meters, okay? Um, nice to measure everything in meters. And so what we want to do is we want to find um, the solution. You know, the point, you know, this point x, y, z. So uh, like I did, did before, I was able to plot in two dimensions um, the uh, x plus y and all that other good stuff, z, x, y, all right. So let's, let's see what I can do over here, all right. So in this case, I could take this first, um, first equation and say, you know, it has an intercept of z equals 7, right. Uh, this then it would have a y-intercept of um, minus 7 and it would have an x-intercept of plus 3 halves so right here so this thing becomes sort of the triangle that these three points define the plane uh, must go something like that and like that right so we've got a plane going around in that sort of in that sort of direction. So that's our um, first equation one. So remember x, y, z equals something. That's the equation for a plane, right? That was in chapter seven. So let's go ahead and try um, this guy. This guy. Let's see. We've got two z equals six. So that's halfway here. That's three. Um, y equals six. So this is three and a half, six, seven, so six is here. And then we have um, x is equal to, um, oh, no, that's over here, sorry. And then x is equal to two, which is even a little closer this way. So we have this guy, this guy, this guy. So we've got, in this case, um, yeah, it comes out here. So we've got this guy, this guy, um, coming sort of down around that way, like that. So we've got one plane going this way, one plane going this way. And I think they meet somewhere around here, right? So we're trying to find the point where all three of these planes meet. That's the solution. So we have 3z is equal to 3, so that's z equals 1. Uh, minus y is plus 3, so that's right here. So got these two guys. And then we have, or not 6. So we've got these guys here. And so they come out here and meet sort of like this. Um, I'm not sure that it goes like this. So we have a um, point of intersection like right around there. So that's going to be our solution. Uh, now that's a big jumble mess, right? Um, I'm not going to be able to use that drawing to help me figure out if I have the right position. Um, but it, it shows you more or less what's going on here. I've got these three different um, planes here here and here and I'm trying to figure out where all three of them meet at the same time which I think is right there so any um, since this is 
since, and I think they are going to meet, right? If they don't all meet in one place, uh, we've got two different possibilities, right? Uh, one is that maybe two of these guys are parallel to each other, in which case um, there is no uh, common point of intersection, right? And the other is that um, all three of them share one line, right? So they do something like this. And in that case, we get this line as the intersection, okay? So, um, so that's sort of a geometrical interpretation of all of this matrix stuff that I'm about to do. Um, here, we want to find the point. If we can't find a point, we, cannot, we might be able to find a relationship where we have a line there, or we might not, right? And so uh, those, are our, um, those are our worrying cases. These are the things that can screw us up. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that um, in a later video, uh, probably, unless this one, unless I was wrong about how this one turns out, okay, um, which I'm not, so we don't have to worry about it. Now we have to do this um, Gaussian elimination thing. Uh, that more or less means that I turn this into a matrix. So you'll remember what I do first is I take all of the x's and put them in one, one row, all of these coefficients on the x's. 2, 3, minus 1, right? 2, 3, minus 1. Then I have minus 1, 1, minus 1 for the y's, minus 1, 1, minus 1. And for the z's, I have 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then I put my funny looking line there. And then I say, okay, I have 7 meters, 6 meters, 3 meters. All right. And now I'm just going to want to play with that matrix, right? I'm going to want to first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to well, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to try to eliminate entries here and I can do it any old way I want to right that's all up to me um, so I'm not really sure which way to start I'm going to start with um, trying eliminating these two guys here so I'll just add row two to both row one to row one and add row two to row three and replace row one and row three uh, respectively so um, if I do that, I say, okay, 3 plus 2 is 5, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3, 1, 2, um, 3 minus 1 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 plus 3 is 5, dot, 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 dot. And I had 6 plus 7, which is 13 meters. So I have six meters, six plus three is nine meters, okay? So now I've got that. Uh, my, next, my next thing to do is take one of these guys and try to eliminate, um, try to eliminate his, his stuff, I think. Um, first thing I'll do for that is I'll, I'll eliminate this first one from one of them, okay? So what I'll do is I'll divide everything by two here and I'll divide everything by five here. So we have one, O, oh, Three fifths and thirteen fifths meters here. And I have three one two, three one two six meters. And I have one zero and five halves, one zero five halves, and that's nine halves of a meter. So that's four and a half meters. Okay. So I've done that, and now I'm ready to just go ahead and add and subtract and be done with it. Um, and probably the easiest thing for me to do is to go ahead and um, get rid of that, um, this one here. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'll just take this, I'll take this and subtract it from that. It sounds good to me. So uh, one minus one is zero, right? 0 minus 0 is 0, and 5 halves minus um, 3 fifths, 5 halves minus 3 fifths is equal to um, 25 minus uh, 6 over 10, which is 19 tenths, right? So I have 19 tenths. And then I have um, 9 halves minus 13 fifths, which is equal to 45 minus 
2 times 13 is 26, 10, so that's minus, that's equal to 19 tenths again, uh, which is very nice. So 19 tenths of a meter, 1.9 meters, 6 meters, 13 fifths of a meter. Um, 3, 1, 2, 1, 0, 3 fifths. Okay, and I'll fix this up again by um, I'll fix this up again by dividing by 19 tenths on each side, right? Which is so I have 103 fifths, 312, 001, 13 fifths of a meter, six meters, one meter. Okay, actually that tells us z is going to equal one meter, so. This point right up here, where z equals one meter, um, and x right on this um, line right there, um, that's going to be our point of intersection. No, oh, that's going to be the height of the intersection. That's not our point of intersection. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so where am I? Okay, so what I'm going to do is now that I have this rule alone, I'll just subtract. Um, two times this from that and three halves this time from that. Okay, so then I have zero, zero, one, one meter because that's not going to change. Three, one, zero. So two minus two is zero. We have six meters minus two meters, which is four meters, right? Here I have um, three fifths, so then I have one zero zero up here because I'm going to have three fifths minus three fifths. So if this is three fifths, that's three fifths. So I'm going to have thirteen fifths minus um, three fifths, which is ten fifths, which is two meters. So we're doing pretty good. We're cruising. We're almost there, right? Um, so now all I have to do is eliminate this three. So I take this row and subtract um, three times this row. So one zero zero two meters. So I take three minus three and that's zero. One minus zero and that's zero or one. Excuse me. And um, zero minus zero is zero. And four minus three times two, which is six, is minus two meters. Zero zero one one meter. So that means I have x is equal to two meters. Y is equal to minus two meters z is equal to one meter. Okay, and you'll notice that exactly what happened, what I said would happen in the last video happened here. I ended up with all of these wonderful fractions, um, making my life a lot easier, um, because on my way to do, doing this, even though I should have been able to get away with, um, find, I, could, I should be able to find a way to um, get this exact same answer without ever you know, wandering into the world of fractional values, right? Um, but that's okay because, again, this sort of procedure is best done by a computer. Computers don't care about fractions or decimals or whatever. They'll just, it, to them, a number is a number. And the hard part is definitely not the um, manipulation. So, uh, that's about it for this, for this topic. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.